right now the remedy program i'm waiting for the artwork for the front so i don't have copyright issues but it's ready to go just in terms of the basics uh we're coming up with a chat that chat room that's mm -hmm. uh goes through the seven step pulse process has a goal has a convo type uh has a team of 12 basically the methodology to build a share knowledge community using chat rooms that are programmed to take you through a timed step. So okay. that's like we're just working on the back end of that right now. And and we have the Luciel group has already agreed to participate with that in terms of training for their 12 times 12. Cool. And I have another team in Yorkton that's uh, agreed to make a share knowledge community that is that is agreed to participate in that. So great. Well, I've got some updates too on that end too. Okay. Um, that's really exciting. So um, remember I was telling you a bit about this perpetual purpose trust. So there's a thing right now where the impact conveners, um, if you go to like opportunity collaboration or you go to conveners.org, there are these groups that convene impact organizations together. Opportunity collaboration is one that's amazing. I could totally see the inflow being used there because they bring different stakeholders from youth to entrepreneurs, to activists, to funders. They, build, they, they, they identify the different stakeholders and they bring them around a round table and they bring specific issues and they have collective brainstorms for how they can use that divergence of their power for how to solve these issues, which is basically what your harmonizer table has been built to do. Yeah. Right. Um, it's doing really well. The model is scaling. We have membership around the world. But what they found is that they're starting to compete with other organizations that do similar things. And they're like, this is the crazy part of capitalism, that those who are trying to work on behalf of impact are competing with each other. So they're like, let's figure out a better structure for this. So as COVID shut everything down and their business model has changed, there's an impetus to create a new model. So this is something called the Perpetual Purpose Trust where they're creating a trust model where they can all pool their collective assets together, pool the collective equity of all their entities together and essentially build a shared knowledge community. Now, underneath that is Nexus. Underneath that is the, um, is the uh, infrastructure for how resources are shared. It's the operating system for the sharing of resources right, in organization. And so we finally reached the level where the Perpetual Purpose Trust is being built by these guys from purpose.org who it's incredible the work they've done Elijah I mean how much they've worked with major companies to restructure them to live their purpose and values they're like already doing some of this nexus like shared knowledge community like infrastructure on a, a diagrammatic flow level and they're taking some of the biggest companies in the world who want to live their mission now and they're transitioning them so it you know it, this is this is time is starting to happen that's awesome. Uh, how about Veeam? What's going on there? Ooh, it's exciting. Yeah, it's exciting. I don't know how much I want to talk about on camera. Well, I'll, talk, I'll, talk, I'll say a little bit on camera. Um, all the things we were trying to do before around creating a decentralized content marketplace, around creating a place where creators could truly be valued for their creativity and to value and open up the creative commons. I think we finally figured out a way to do it with NFTs. Um, Oh. So, yeah, so oh. our entire back end of Veeam is now NFTs. And we, um, we've got some really, really big traction and some really amazing plans for launch. And I have an idea with also how we can do impact launches and impact Veeams and Veeam campaigns for specifically things like this old world bar. It's like, I wish I had Veeam ready for this moment. It would have been perfect. Yeah. Right? But it's okay. We're going to get ready. We're only a couple months away from actually well, getting ready. Well, just in the background, I mean, I would love from that initial uh, remedy oracle to have a button that goes take that question and the and the oracle press a button make a veem click and then go into your system and have that as the the starting point for the conversation mm. and then have the invitations and then you could actually at the same time have a chat room that is talking about how you're going to create the veem mm -hmm. And so you've got the multiple level of communication going on. So, I mean, that's cool. in the background of my mind, uh, wondering where you're at on your end, because thinking I'm sure that, you know, it's each of us has had to do quite a lot to get ready yeah. to the point where these things could come together kind of thing. Yeah. So we're about three to six months away. I was here right now from an MVP launch. Um, cross your fingers. There's a lot of work to do, but uh, we're excited. Okay. We'll just... I would like to put that in the plan of the integration point um, mm -hmm. 
And so at some point, if we could get together and talk about that and, and what would have to happen on both her ends, I would sure. appreciate that. Yeah. So what would probably have to happen is that our first initial part of our system is if you have an initial piece of content, that initial piece of content would go onto the Dean library. Right. So however you want to brainstorm what that initial piece of content is, say it's like you're up at the old growth forest and you you see like, uh, you know, something happening and you capture a 15 second or whatever clip of it. You upload it to the Dean library. We fingerprint it. It's your content now. And now you can set it up for a remix competition. So now anybody can come take that clip and remix it. And the output could be whatever you whatever the output, whatever the original crypt creator decides it to be. Okay. So that's how we're starting Veeam and V1 okay. is allowing people to do content remixing. Um, okay. So I would sort of create my beginning, load it up there, and then yeah. put it up for how I'd want it answered or whatever, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That sounds simple. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I, I guess in terms of like the testing group or whatever, when things get close to being ready, I would like to yeah. be part of the test group if possible. Yeah, of course. Okay, well, you, you said you have to do sound yeah, recording, right? Got to jump. Yeah. Okay. Great to see you, and I look forward to tomorrow. I think it's going to be yeah. fantastic. Yeah, me too, man.